everybody welcome to this board game life video look into the game pixel tactics 2 by level 99 games this is labeled as a standalone tactical card game that's a two-player game plays in about 30 minutes or so and ages 12 and up this is a game that I recently got as a review copy from Level 99 Games, and I was pleasantly surprised uh, about this game because I never played the first one, and uh, I found myself really enjoying this game. I guess uh, it's a little bit of a spoiler as to what I think of the game, but uh, let's take a quick look uh, at uh, what you get. First of all, the game comes in this... Uh, this little box over here which I'm rather kind of disappointed with uh, you know it's meant to be retail friendly I guess you know hanging on one of those little uh, pegboards or whatnot but this is not very conducive uh, to the game everything kind of gets jumbled up in there and uh, kind of mixed up so uh, I'm kind of disappointed by that aspect do yourself a favor and get one of these guys over here just throw everything in here and you know chuck this guy or hang on to it folds uh, flat or something like that but uh, put everything in here it's a lot better than this guy here so what do you get with the game well you get uh, two decks of cards there's one deck there's two decks in two different colors you get a first player and a second player card uh, if you guys can read that here there you go, first player, second player cards. And the back of the cards, they have uh, kind of like a action reference there that shows you all the different actions in the game. And the rules are kind of interesting because they're on a huge sheet of paper. Now when I say huge, I mean huge. Let's take a look at this. These are the rules. I don't know if I can even fit my camera frame over there. The rules are uh, really nicely laid out, and as you can see, the QR code over here. Just snap that with your phone, it'll take you to the website, and you can watch videos. Uh, Level 99 is awesome with videos. They've got a lot of good stuff out there. But this explains the cards. Uh, it explains how everything kind of works. It's actually well done. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly how I feel about the big format. It's kind of a pain to reference, but there's uh, other ways to reference uh, the rules in the game, and, and the game's not that difficult, but uh, you can always, I guess, go to level 99 and check it out there. So this is uh, the other side of the uh, of the instructions here, and it's actually got uh, a play area, and uh, this is actually kind of sweet. You know, it's uh, it helps you kind of visualize everything, how to put everything out, but then again, it's not very difficult in terms of, of uh, layout, because essentially it's a uh, four by three grid of cards where you have a three by three play area, a deck of discard, and then you've got action reference over here, which is essentially the same thing that you have here on, uh, on your card here. So uh, I, I appreciate this, uh, this uh, little board over here, but it's actually kind of difficult to play on just because it doesn't sit flat, but uh, you know, it, it is what it is. So uh, for the purpose of, of this review, I'm not going to be using this thing. So uh, let's take a look at what we get here with the cards. Okay, there's uh, two decks of cards. There's the blue and the red over here, so blue and red, they're essentially the same uh, except for the backs. So uh, your cards, uh, there's, there's two of each, one in each deck here. There's 25 cards total, 50 cards total in the game. And uh, they have an interesting layout because you can actually uh, do different things with these cards based on their orientation. So for example, when uh, this card is facing this way, it's a relic hunter and when it's this way, it's a leader, uh, what Cesar Grist. They have uh, fighting and health, essentially. So this guy does four damage, and he has 24 uh, damage total, and uh, three and seven in this orientation. So now, if you saw that uh, grid that we had earlier, it's got a number of different colors. So there's the front, which is uh, what Vanguard, uh, there's... Uh, uh, flank and the rear, I believe, is what they're called. 
So when you place these into the different areas, and I'll go over that in a little bit, they have different abilities. So for example, this card over here, when it's placed up in the front, uh, it's an intercept card, so it can intercept uh, ranged attacks. Uh, when it's next to, uh, when it's in the middle, uh, it's got this thing over here. Uh, you can see its little ability there. And when it's in the rear, it's got plus five attack strength. Uh, you can use a particular card as an order, and uh, basically it's a one-time use of a card. Once you do an order, you place it in your discard, and uh, it's, it's out of the game. When it's in this orientation, this is a leader. You have one leader uh, in the game, and the leader is essentially what's there to, um, you know, he, he's like your main guy, like your general, and you're protecting him, and you're trying to take out the other leader. And uh, they all have uh, certain abilities. You can see here, so, uh, you know, the, the person or the card that you choose as a leader can be kind of important. Uh, you know, can help you win the game. And like I said, each of them has an ability, an attack, and a health. So he'll attack for four, and he can take up to 24 damage. When he receives 24 damage, game over, you lose. And vice versa for the other player. So uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at the game, exactly how it plays out. So when you start the game off, what you do is you, you, know, you shuffle your cards, of course, and you start with a hand of five cards. You have your five cards, and you look through them, and you choose one of these cards here to be your leader. Let's say we use uh, Karen uh, Brantford. So this is placed out, and the leader is placed uh, in the middle of your play grid. So it's in the middle, there's uh, cards to either side, there's three in the front and three in the rear. And the opponent does essentially the same. Like that there. So just imagine three by three grid here and three by three grid over there. At this point, you now are done with the leader portion of the game, and what you're doing is you're looking at all your different cards. Oh, and I forgot to mention that uh, at the beginning of the game here, we start off with your first and second player cards that I showed earlier. So the person who's the first player places this in their front wave, and then the second player places, places this in their front wave. And you have a little cheat sheet on the back here again uh, if you want to see what your available actions are. So that goes there. So let's see over here, what do we got? We placed our leaders down, and it's my turn here. I'm the first player. So I've got vanguard, flank, and rear, and I'm gonna be placing in the vanguard here. I cannot attack first round. So let's see what over here, what I wanna do. So here I can place the curse knight. So he has an ability called intercept, and, and you get to know these symbols after you play for a little bit. So the Cursed Knight has uh, an intercept ability. It says when this hero takes damage from an attack, he deals the same amount to the attacker. That's awesome. So what I can do here is I can place him up here in the Vanguard, and now that's essentially his ability. If I placed him in the, in the flank, this would be his ability here. When uh, this hero takes damage, assign the same amount of damage to any other hero of your choice. And then in the rear position, when this unit is attacked in melee, the attacking hero or leader takes two damage. So let me explain the attacking. Uh, attacking is done uh, across, so the, the, the frontmost cards on your side can attack the frontmost cards on the opponent's side in melee. And basically, that's sort of like hand-to-hand -hand combat. So uh, you have, to, if you want to deal damage to a card in the rear, you have to go through the cards that are in front of it. If a card has a ranged attack, uh, at that point, uh, you can basically 
attack any card on the other side. However, if there's a card with an intercept, like the Curse Knight that we just talked about here, uh, the intercept card would uh, take the damage. Um, you'd have to get through that card before you can get anything behind him. So here again, we'll place this card here. And then uh, for my second turn, again, we can go through Recruit Attack, Order, Clear Corpse, Draw, and Restructure. For my second turn, hey, let's say I go through and I draw another card. So that's my two turns. Now it's the opponent's turn. The opponent has uh, their four cards, and uh, they basically do the same thing. They go through, they're playing uh, in their vanguard row. So let's say uh, the sniper here, a plus four attack strength against heroes with intercept. Ooh, that's a good one. So he can go out here. So again, three, three, three. We're playing the vanguard over here. And then, uh, I don't know, can play a second card like that right there at which time these cards slide down to the flank, which is the middle. You play cards in the middle, and then they slide to the rear, at which point, once that's complete, the round is over, and you switch. So now the other player is the first player, and you start in the vanguard again. Uh, once you start the second round, then you can attack, and it's a slugfest. And you have these little tokens right here that you deal damage to cards. And then eventually, when their health totally goes away, again, they get turned into corpses like this, uh, which, you know, you still have some ability to do something with them, possibly, um, using orders or whatnot. And then uh, once uh, that's complete, uh, they are officially a corpse, and you have to use your clear corpse action, action to discard them. So uh, that's a quick rundown of the rules of Pixel Tactics. And I can tell you one thing, I really enjoy this game. This, this little game is a lot of fun in, in a small little box. I was definitely, definitely surprised at the amount of fun that it is. Uh, I highly recommend it. I, again, I, I don't care for the box, but uh, the game is amazing. There's, uh, you know, some other games out there that are tactical, uh, you know, s uh, strategy games, uh, little card games like this. And uh, I, I'd say this one is a lot more fun. I, I, I really enjoy this one a lot more. Uh, kudos to Level 99 Games for coming out with such a, a, a sweet little game. Uh, one thing that I, I did find out about this game is that there's uh, two different versions of this game. So there's a, a version of this game, well not the Pixel Tactics 2, but the original game. There's a version of it that came with the minigame library, and those cards are actually have a texture to them. They're like a linen finish, and these cards here, if you can kind of see it, they're just a, you know, a smooth finish, and, and they're actually very nice cards, by the way. So it's a smooth finish, and uh, you can mix these versions. So uh, Pixel, Tactic 1, Pixel Tactics 1 can be mixed with 2, and there's an upcoming uh, Tactics 3, that'll be coming out in 2014, uh, according to Level 99. Uh, you can mix these all together. However, uh, if you use a mini game library version, uh, you'll probably need to sleeve the cards. Otherwise, you'll be able to tell what's what, essentially. And uh, if you've got the standalone version of Pixel Tactics 1, it, it is the same. Uh, it's, it's not the uh, linen finish. So that's just a, a kind of a, a little thing uh, to, to know about. But uh, the game is very enjoyable. It's a lot of fun, and uh, it's got a lot of variability. Just the fact that the cards can be so many different things. And, you know, it's like, hey, you know, do I want to play this in the Vanguard? Yeah, because, you know, it's got that awesome ability, but, you know, if I play it in the rear, if I, you know, play it as, a, as an order, it's got these cool functions to it that, uh, you know, definitely can maybe help me out uh, a heck of a lot more. But, uh, 
you know, that, that, that's part of the fun. And, uh, you know, you look at the other person and you're thinking, wow, you know, what, what are they planning? Or I'm just going to get totally hosed because they've got those strong cards out front. But you've got to keep in mind, you got those same cards. Maybe, you know, you just didn't draw them at the same time. But, you know, that's how it goes. But uh, I, I really like the art. I was kind of uncertain about, you know, pixel, you know, pixel art. You know, how, how's it going to look? But uh, I, I'm finding myself, I really like it. I mean, it reminds me from video, about, you know, video games back in the day. But the game uh, is definitely not dated. It's something fresh. It's something uh, new and innovative. And I think that uh, Level 99 Games definitely has a winner on their hands. I, I, if you like these style of games, if you like the uh, little tactical games, you know, something you can play with two people. You know, you don't have to get booster decks. You don't have to get, uh, you know, monthly add-on packs and so forth. You can definitely play this. It's got a very quick learning curve. So you can teach this game in a matter of minutes uh, to somebody and you just get up and running and it's the, probably one of the, the coolest uh, tactical games that you can play on a lunch break. You know, wherever it might be at work uh, at the mall or, or whatnot so this is uh pixel tactics 2 i definitely enjoy it and uh thanks level 99 for bringing out such a uh, such a cool little game